Today we're going to look at connecting the Roland TD17 V drums via Bluetooth to Windows 10 machine. I still prefer using cable since I find cable more reliable, but if you want to give Bluetooth a try, this would be this is one way I found to do it. We need to install two software. One is Loop MIDI and the other one is Berry MIDI Berry. So first go to our website and search for Loop Loop MIDI. I'll put the link in the description and download the software. Once you have it downloaded, let's go ahead and install it. I uncheck this. I want the warning. Agree to the license. Install it. Once that is done, we need to add a new uh, MIDI port. So just click plus, the default name is fine. And that is done. Next, go to the Windows Store and search for MIDI Berry and install it. It's free. So once that is downloaded, we can uh, set up the ports. Next phase is where you need to go and we need to go and pair the Roland with the with the Windows 10 machine so that uh, TD7 MIDI shows up, and then we can uh, set up the software. Okay, so what we want, we want the input to be the from the Roland and we want the output to go to the loop MIDI. Once that is set up, go to the Roland, whichever software that requires MIDI. In my case, it's the VDRUM, VDRUM tutorial, tutor. And set up the device, you will find uh, loop MIDI, hit, hit that, hit OK, and you're all set up. That's all you need to do. Okay, so we're going to start the pairing process. Click Setup, go to Bluetooth, press Enter, and click Pairing. Next, we're going to go to the surface and pull up Bluetooth. You want to add a Bluetooth device. Now you're going to find TD Audio and you're going to find TD17 MIDI. First select this, it will say connecting. It, although it says ready to go here, if you go look back on your on the TD17, it is still blinking as though it has not hooked up. And this is the issue I was telling you about. To solve for it, go back and also add the audio. Here is audio. Once you add the audio, you will see that the Bluetooth is completely paired. But using Bluetooth audio isn't really good since there's a delay and when you drum, uh, it's gonna, you will not be able to play it due to the lag. So once I have this paired, I go back to the laptop and I disconnect the audio connection. So come back here. We can see that it shows Bluetooth audio is connected. There's also the TD and MIDI is also paired. I get to the audio and I just say remove device. At this stage, if you you will still see that the MIDI is paired, and if you go look back at your Roland, the Bluetooth light is gone. Even though it is gone, interestingly, it is still connected, and we'll see that on the laptop. So coming back to Berry MIDI, I'm going to come here. And here we have a uh, 
we can see that we have these options now. So we, what do we want? We want input to come from the drums and we want it to go out to the loop MIDI. So once that is done, we can start the software, like a, a drumming software. In this case, we're gonna go with the Roland's tutorial. I'm gonna start that up. And click setup here, and you will find loop MIDI. You will find loop MIDI, and that's your input. Once you have that in, you, we can see that the drums will actually work now. So note how uh, whichever I hit is actually showing up. And if I were to record something here. Thank you.